Welcome one and all to Project Castaway. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I've crash landed on a remote island chain. If I want to survive, I'll have to gather materials to craft what I need, hunt the native species for meat to cook, and build a raft to explore the surrounding islands. There's not only a dark mystery to uncover, but danger lurking around every corner. Can I safely navigate the shark-filled waters, hungry monitor lizards, and aggressive wolf spiders? Let's find out in Project Castaway. All right, here we go with Project Castaway. This is a new survival sim that just released today, September 23rd, into early access. And if you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it and start a new game. We have survival. Test your survival skills by managing your resources, crafting tools, and fending off threats from the wilderness. And then challenge, which is coming soon. And of course, there's hardcore mode, which results in permadeath. Your save file will become unplayable. We're going to leave that one unchecked. All right, here we are. This is James Alavery. I'm recording this in the middle of a storm, one that came out of nowhere. My plane's instruments are failing. Radio, communications, GPS, all gone. But if anyone finds this, I need you to know why I'm here. I'm searching for my uncle, Seamus Alavery. He was more than just family. He was my hero. He worked as an on-site researcher and archeologist for Morden Pole Inc company with a reputation that's as murky as the waters we're flying over. The last time we spoke, he told me he was heading to the site of the legendary Golden Horizon, a place that's shrouded in mystery and danger. I begged him not to go, but he felt he had no choice. My mother is sick, and my father's been gone for years. I think Uncle Seamus took that job because he felt responsible, like he had to take care of us. But now he's been missing for 14 months, and Mordenpole's giving me the runaround. The police have been no help either, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands. I found a set of coordinates in his home office, clues to where he might have gone. My plan was to start in the Caribbean and work my way to the Pacific. But now, I'm not so sure I'll make it. If this is the end for me, please, let it be known that Seamus Alibury was a good man. He didn't deserve whatever happened to him. And if I don't make it, someone out there, please, continue the search. Oh, brace for impact. We didn't quite make it. Swim to the closest shore. Oh gosh, this is my nightmare. Being out in the open ocean. Alright. We're headed right over there. Uh, we're safe in here, right? There's no... Is there anything in the water? Oh, jeez! Oh gosh, okay, go, go, go. There's a giant shark. What is that? Is that another shark? There's multiple sharks. Where to go? Where to go? I don't like this at all. I don't see anything. Okay, I don't know if holding down shift makes me swim faster, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh gosh! <gasps> oh no, no, don't turn this way, don't turn this way. Swim, 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 faster, faster, faster. I want to turn around and look, but I don't want to turn around and look. Almost there, almost there. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, jeez. Go, go, go. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a welcome for you. We're good. Let's prepare for action. Find and pick a small stick. We got a sign here. 
Alarm system in use. A metal sheet. There's a small stick. Can I pick this up? Oh, I can, but I have to hold it. Cloth. Find a stone and smash it to retrieve stone shards. Okay, let's just, uh, you know what, gather all this while we're here. Metal barrel. Are these stones? Excellent. And smash it. Oh, there we go. That is some hard sand. Open journal with B. Craft a stone axe and wield it. Alright, let's see here. Fire. No, we want tools. Stone hammer. Stone axe can be used to chop trees or kill animals. Stone shard. Rope and small stick. So I'm guessing we already have rope on our persons. Hey, there we go. Chop a palm tree with your crafted axe. New plant discovered. Palm tree. Looks like every hit takes away 1% of my axe. Let's drink some liquids. Coconuts are a good source of liquids, but you can also place a sliced coconut shell or a turtle shell on the ground in order to collect rainwater. Consume option is available with your backpack open when you hover over an item, whether it's on the ground or inside the backpack. To open your backpack, press tab. Okay, we need... There we go, coconuts. We also got some, what is this, palm fronds and some logs. Tab, okay, here we are. We got our stone axe, small sticks, and we got some orange juice. There's our coconut, and our cloth, our stone shards. Okay, refreshing and invigorating taste of the sea. We don't even have to smash this open. We just tear right into it. There we go, our thirst is going up. Our hunger went up a little. Find traces of your uncle. Pointing that way, well, towards the tower. Makes sense. What is this? A broken cabinet. Let's grab another small stick. We got some more barrels over here. What is this? Oh, manure. Oh no, wait a minute. What, uh, what made that? Not looking forward to finding out. Broken fan. Oh, hello, butterfly. Can I get the butterfly? Oh, I can't get the butterfly. Oh, I feel bad now. I'm so sorry. I was just testing it out. Oh, what's that? Something's moving over there. Uh, looks kind of small. Hello. Are you a turtle? It's a turtle. Oh, let's get the turtle. I need food. I need to eat. And I need your shell for rainwater. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I need to survive. You're just here hanging out, living your best life. Hold. All right. We got meat. And our shell. Oh, we got to, like, carry it. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go place this over here, maybe near these barrels. Oh, what is this? It's a crab. Can I get the crab too? Let's put it over here so we have a sort of like landmark that we know where it's at. Hey, crab. How you doing? Oh, there we go. Excellent. Crab arm, a crab body. Very nice. Alright, let's head up there. We do have to eat, but let's do this first. Is that a snail? <laughs> just, just taking apart everything. What are these? Potato plants. Alright, looks like I might need a different tool for that. Oh, hello. A graphosoma. Interesting. More manure. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, we got an island way out there. We passed a few. Oh, 
There's one with some kind of tower on it. Oh, and there's something sticking out of the water there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of islands. All right, uncle, are you up here? I doubt it. Oh, there's a box. Oh, and a note. Password lock. Definitely don't have that. Sticky note. A radio tower item view in journal. Where's my journal? In here? Oh, this? Discoveries, palm tree. Treasures, skills. Quest tracker. Oh, here, radio tower. I found this note. Hey there, stranger. Welcome to paradise, or as I call it, corporate hellscape. I'm Danny Harper, one of the unlucky souls sent here by Mordenpole Corp to oversee some groundbreaking project. They found some kind of resource here, but they're all hush-hush about it. Signed my life away with NDAs, so I don't even know where in the world I am. Mordenpole are a bunch of corporate a-holes. They brought us here under false pretenses and kept us in the dark. Their greed and secrecy have cost lives, and now we're all paying the price. Isolation, paranoia, and a... Daily struggle to survive, that's what they've given us. I've tried my best to survive and find a way out, but I'm at the end of my rope. The constant struggle, the secrecy, the isolation, it's all too much. I've scattered notes throughout the island, detailing my journey to this point, but I know I have no strength left to actually escape. I question my sanity and even my humanity after all this time. The only way out is fixing the radio tower. Problem is, the manual got underwater during a crash. Yeah, talk about luck. It's in one of these submarine wrecks near the island and near some debris. Only those who are serious about escaping will bother looking for it. After you find the manual, you'll see what needs to be done to repair the tower. Gather the materials and fix it up. There's a power box on the tower that needs a key to turn it on. I'll most likely have it on me whenever I die. Assuming nobody else loots it before you, it'll be on my body. Anyone who wants to do me a small favor, I have scattered around the islands the notes from my diary, all of which contain a key. You'll have to find all the notes to get the code to open the locked box. Sorry for the inconvenience, I didn't want them to have the prize. Inside is something that will greatly help your survival. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to travel to all these islands to open this up. Out on a scavenger hunt. How many are there? There's nothing over there. We got a big one right there. And some kind of structure, maybe a tower over there. Or right, let's see about getting up top. Can I crouch? Control, no. C? There we go, C. And it looks like it is a toggle. Is is Danny's body up here? Can't be that easy. I'm gonna go. Oh, this place is just falling apart. All right. Uh, what do we got? This might be the box we need the key for. It's over here. No. Oh, what is this? Cassette tape. James, if you're hearing this, things have taken a turn I didn't anticipate. This is your uncle, Seamus. I don't have much time, so I'll keep this brief. I didn't want to drag you or your mother into this mess, but life doesn't always give us a choice. The deaths, they were crushing me. I couldn't bear the thought of leaving that burden on you both, so when Mord and Paul Inc. came knocking with their offer, I took it. I knew it was risky, but I didn't know just how deep the darkness ran, the mission they sent us on. It wasn't just about research. This island, James. It's unlike anything I've ever encountered. The ruins here hold secrets that shouldn't be uncovered. Mordenpole knew that, and they sent us anyway. They sent us to... to awaken something. We were a team when we started. Trained. Equipped. But this place, it's not just the elements that are hostile. It's as if the island itself is alive, testing us preying on our fears, our regrets. One by one, I've watched my team fall. Good people, lost to something I can't even fully understand. 
I'm alone now, trying to keep the darkness at bay, but it's getting harder. Every step I take feels like it's pulling me deeper into the island's grasp. I've found things, James. Things that should have stayed buried. I'm not sure what Mordenpole is after anymore, but I know it's nothing good. If you're here, if you followed the breadcrumbs I left, I need you to know something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger, that I couldn't protect the people who depended on me. And I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you and your mother when you needed me the most. I don't know how this will end, but I have to believe there's still hope, that there's still a way to make things right. Just be careful, James. Trust your instincts, and don't let this place take you too. Alright, so it's, uh, it's definitely Cthulhu, right? They were sent here to awaken something, and his team sounds like they went crazy. A bug repellent, yes. Small sticks. Old tire. Open journal with B and build a palm bed. Beds allow you to restore energy, sanity, and save progress. Alright. Uh... Let's go ahead and maybe... Oh, what is this? A bottled note. In our journal. Bottled notes. I found this note. A letter from a missing cargo ship. To whom it may concern, my name is David Carter, and I was the first mate on the cargo ship Ocean Voyager. We set sail with a full load of goods, everything from electronics to clothing, even some crates of exotic fruit. We were making our way across the Pacific when the storm hit. It came out of nowhere, fierce and unforgiving. The waves were like mountains, and the wind howled like a banshee. We tried to steer through it, but it was no use. The ship was tossed around like a toy, and before we knew it, we were sinking. Packages and crates were scattered everywhere, floating away into the vast ocean. A lot of my crew didn't make it. I watched them get swallowed by the waves one by one. I still hear their screams at night. There were a few of us who managed to cling to some debris and make it to a nearby island, but it's been weeks, maybe months, and there's still no sign of rescue. It's strange. You'd think someone would have come by now. We had a distress signal, and the shipping lanes are usually busy. But it's like we've vanished from the map. We've tried everything. We've lit signal fires, spelled out SOS with rocks on the beach, even tried to build a raft, but nothing works. The island is starting to feel like a prison. Food is scarce, and fresh water is running out. We've scavenged what we can, but it's not enough. The exotic fruit from the cargo is long gone, and we're left with whatever we can catch or find. I've seen some of the packages wash up on shore, random items that are of no use to us, laptops with no power, designer clothes that offer no warmth, even a crate of rubber ducks. It's almost laughable. The useless things that have survived when we're struggling to stay alive. Hope is fading. Every day is a struggle to survive, and every night is a battle against despair. I'm starting to think no one is coming for us. Maybe we've been forgotten, or maybe there's something else going on that I can't understand. All I know is that it's getting harder to keep going. If someone finds this, please know that we tried. We fought to survive, but sometimes it feels like the ocean itself is against us. If you're reading this, maybe there's still a chance of rescue, but for me, hope is a dwindling flame, and I'm not sure how much longer I can keep burning. I wonder if we'll find evidence of them on one of the other islands. Oh, there's the island with that tower. There's also something in the water right there. Maybe some kind of buoy. Alright, let's go see about making a bed probably near where we put our turtle shell. Oh, there's another turtle. Hey, turtle. Sorry, sorry. But I'm gonna need to eat. I'm not doing well on my hunger. Oh, there we go. And I could use your shell for even more water potential. Uh, was there more meat here? Wait, is this meat? No. All right, let's take this over where we have the other one. And start getting a camp set up. Oh, crab. Oh, geez, what's that? Oh, there's some kind of Komodo dragon or monitor lizard. Uh, hello there. Are you aggressive? Hello? Are you oh, geez, you're aggressive. Run, 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 run. 
Looks like a monitor lizard. Oh, I'm faster than you? Okay. <laughs> uh, I gotta stay away from you. I don't think I can take you on right now. We're gonna place this right here. Excellent. And see about building a palm bed. Simple bed to rest and regain energy and sanity. Six palm fronds. All right. Do we want to place this right near the water? Maybe... Maybe a little over here? Uh, let's put it right here. And we chop down a tree. Here it is. And we can carry... Well, we, can, we have four off of this tree. So we're just going to chop down another one here. Axe down to 52%. Oh, grab the... Oh, is there a coconut? Where's the coconut? There it is. Excellent. Oh, completed tutorial. That's it. We're on our own now. Okay, we need to make something to cook with. Let's take a look at our fire here. We need five small sticks. Oh no, campfire gives the ability to cook. We need six stones and five small sticks. Metal barrel stove provides light and warmth while offering the ability to cook on the grill. Oh, that's even better. A metal barrel and two metal sheets. Five small sticks. We can absolutely do this. Yes. Let's make this. That sounds a lot better. Uh, we're going to put this right over here. Let's rotate it maybe this way. All right. Put our sticks in. Grab a metal barrel. Where's that lizard? Where'd you go? You're not coming this way, right? And a metal sheet over here. Uh, is there more metal sheets anywhere? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's like a there's like a couch here, an old sofa. Hey, there we go. Okay, start fire. Tap F quickly to start the fire. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, really quickly. Rub those sticks together. Excellent. For another seven and a half hours. All right, how do I cook on this? Uh, select this. No. Uh, open my backpack. Where's our meat? Very delicious cooked. Yes. Uh, drag. Oh, there we go. Some lovely steaks. Look at that. Looking good. Orange juice. We have this butterfly. I can just eat the butterfly. Can I cook the butterfly? Cooked meat. Excellent. We're, we're eating great. Let's try it. Can we cook this? Uh, no. Can we just put it back? How do I put it back? Put it back. And more raw meat. And oh, we have our crab. That's right. Get that cooking as well. Snail, good source of protein. Oh, I wrote what the note says in the journal. So I don't need this anymore on my persons, right? Rotten, rotten crab arm? It's rotten already? Wait a minute. But the crab body's fine. Uh, can I can I cook it? Make it okay? Oh, it won't cook anymore. So what do I do with this? Uh, just drop it somewhere. Can I cook the snail? No. Uh, put it back. All right, but let's eat this crab. Get our hunger back up. Uh, it gave a a fair amount. And the other crab arms rotten too. Okay, just drop that down. 
eat all this. Uh, wait, didn't I have more steaks? Where'd they go? Did I drop them? Or did I already eat them? Uh, eat the butterfly. I just, I guess just eat it. It's not going to hurt me, is it? It's taking up space. This here, a bug known by its stench. Sure, eat it. Uh, coconut, yeah, we need some more on our thirst. And I guess I should just drop this. I'm not going to use it. Oh, it actually looks kind of nice there. All right, what else do we need? I do want to make a raft and try and head out for one of these islands. There's one over there. What is that? Oh, that's our plane, I think. It's smoking. This is where we where we landed. I should also try and make a weapon. What kind of weapons do we have? A wooden knife, a stone knife. Oh, we need crafting level 2, granite, bronze, spears, a bow, a crossbow. We can make a stone knife right now. It can be used to chop small plants or kill animals. Excellent. Where did that go? Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, I see. One and two. So it's on my second slot. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Are we getting water? Are we filling up? Oh, it is. It looks like it's filling up. 12%. 70% fresh. 12% fresh. So I can drink. Gives me a little. Alright. Uh, manure, I don't think I need that. Oh, there's the one over there with the giant tower. Let's pick up some more small sticks. And... Hello, crab. Still worried about that lizard. But let's see, we have storage. A stick holder allows us to store up to 24 small sticks. Perfect to drop things from your backpack. Not very secure. Stores logs. Nourishment. Ooh, a water pouch. Oh, we need rope. Leather pouch for carrying liquids. Yes. Three leather, though. I also need to be able to find out how to make leather. Granite axe. Bronze axe. Stone hammer allows you to shape and construct new structures and demolish existing ones. Weapons, arrows. We have medicine. Bandages. Oh, here we go. Raft bases. Wood raft, barrel raft base, tire raft base. Raft components, rudder, raft sail, a flag. Oh, a pirate flag. <laughs> a one slice flag. That's great. Farming, utility, oh, a water collector. We need rope, banana leaves, large sticks, and a turtle shell. Oh, here, spinning wheel. On the loading screen, it said I needed yucca leaves and a spinning wheel. We need eight small sticks. Blueprints, plane blueprints. We can rebuild the plane or build a new one. All right, let us see about getting some small sticks. And making a spinning. Oh, a yucca tree. There we go. New plant discovered. Yucca tree. Grab all this. Excellent. Uh, can we get like small sticks from a plant or from a tree? Or are they just on the ground? Ginger plant. Oh, there's a lot of small sticks over here. Yep, grab all these. Oh, inventory full. Okay. Let's uh, head back over here. Oh, wait, it's raining. Did our fire go out? Oh, I think our fire went out from the rain. Uh, can we build some kind of shelter? A lean-to. Six large sticks and nine palm fronds. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at this. Oh, gosh. Uh, right about here? Can we move our bed? 
Uh, no, it doesn't look like we can. Okay, better than nothing. We need some palm fronds. I think there's some more over here that we didn't pick up. Or do we get all of these? I guess we got all of these. Kava kava plant. We need large sticks, too. How do I get large sticks? The palm trees make logs. Is there any other small tree? Oh, there are large sticks. That's a small stick. Our inventory is full. Let's bring this here. And, well, we do need palm fronds. So I will need to chop down some more palm trees. Ooh, a banana tree. Actually, I shouldn't be chopping these down. Where's the banana? We get two bananas. Before I can make some rope. A branch. Does this make large sticks? It does. Excellent. Because I need a rope to make another axe. So I should... Let's, let's get this, and let's also start in on the... Where was it? The spinning wheel. And one metal sheet. Uh, this doesn't have to be in the lean-to, I suppose. We're just going to stick it... Like this. Add all of those. Grab a metal sheet from somewhere. Maybe down here. You are very tired. You need to sleep. Oh, stars come out. Actually, let's grab all of these. I might need them for something else. And it'll be more convenient if they're next to our camp. Energy going down. My Is that my sanity with the brain? Drop two of these. Your sanity is dangerously low. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to do this. There we go. And then we're going to go to sleep. Uh, for six hours? For how long? Sure. How much does that give me? Sanity up. Energy going up. Maybe, you know, sleep for another two hours, a full eight hours of sleep. There we go. Sanity at max. Let us get up. Two in the morning. And we need to finish this. More large sticks. More palm fronds. Where's that? That lizard? Is that lizard asleep? I hope it's asleep. Palm fronds. There should be a coconut somewhere here. I can't see anything. I need to make a torch. Alright, we need two more. Oh, I need to eat too as well. Grab the coconut. And find some small trees. What was this? Oh, palm. Can't see anything. Oh, here. Is this a small tree? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that noise? Something's attacking me. Where? I don't see anything. Oh, what is that? Is it a spider? Oh, gosh. A wolf spider? Oh, no. That was... <laughs> that was super scary. Where did my... Where did my small tree go? I don't know. I ran away. Here's another one. We're just going to take this one down. Alright, we got our lean-to, 
Hopefully that should protect our fire should we need it. Uh, we need some food though. Can I just eat some of these bananas? Yucca leaves. Where's the bananas? There we go. A rich source of potassium. All right, not too bad. We're going to grab this as well. Oh, wait, where's our... Do we still have water? <gasps> they're, like, they're like full of water. Well, look at that. Oh, gosh, you've gotten parasites. Try drinking some liquids. You've gotten diarrhea. Avoid eating for a while. Oh, no. Oh, because they're stagnant. They've been sitting here for too long. I did not even look before I tried. Um, can I, like... There we go. Empty it out. Place it back. Okay. Well, I got to be careful with that. This <laughs> oh, man. This place is going to do me in. All right. Let us come in here. What's this medicine? Bandages, rashes, and infections. Aloe gel. Sliced coconut aloe leaf. I need to be able to slice... A coconut, though. I don't see anything that'll help me with indigestion stuff. Farming, a patch to grow plants or roots. This water collector. Let's make some ropes. See about getting... We have a turtle shell. Yeah, we can totally make that. I wonder if that will go bad as well. Alright, add yucca leaf. Hold the spin. Pick up rope. Oh, okay, that was easy. One yucca leaf per rope. Excellent. All right, and come over here. Water collector. Let's place this over here. Grab, we had the banana tree somewhere here. There it is. Banana leaves. Large sticks. A turtle shell. Two more banana leaves. You need another banana tree. Is this the banana tree? No, that's a palm tree. This one. Hey, there we go. Oh, no, my axe is done. Okay. Uh, we need to make another one. Excellent. Two of these. Oh, it's raining a lot. We gotta get this done. Uh, there are branches. There's like a branch somewhere here. Oh. This must be where this other small tree I took down was before the wolf spider attacked me. Oh, what is this tree? Can I take this down? What is this? No? Does it show up as anything? Small sticks. Is there a small tree somewhere here? No more wolf spiders. Oh, here. And this one. You've reached level four in melee. Any... What was that? Stone. Man, there's no way to, like, highlight stuff. Doesn't seem like it. I've been clicking buttons. And none of them seem to highlight interactables. We need some more. Anything here that wants to hurt me? Everything here wants to hurt me. I don't see any more small trees. These are all palms. What is this? Oh, there it is. 
only gives me two. Oh, wait, there's another one here. Grab as many as we can. Was there another one? Low on protein. Try eating meat. Oh, jeez. We got to be specific about what we eat now. All right. Uh, we need to find crab. Or another turtle. How is this? 100% fresh. Drink it. And we're just going to pick this up. Low on vitamins. Diversify your diet. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm trying here. There we go. Look at this. Okay. We're doing fine there. Uh, I guess we are. What is that? What is moving? Hello? Eat a hold. Was that this over here? Get, get off of my screen. There we go. Alright, is there a crab? There's a crab. Hello, crab. I need some protein. No turtles around. Uh, come over here. Start the fire. And before these crab arms go bad, get them cooking. Oh, jeez, spider. I mean, that's pretty diverse, right? If we just eat, <laughs> eat the spider. There we go. Is that diverse enough for you? And you know what? How about we drink the orange juice? That's pretty diverse. That does not help our hunger or... It might have helped this. Pick these up. Cooked crab. Is this protein enough? Okay, yes, our protein is going up a little bit. Where did the body go? There it is. I need, like, one more crab. Oh, there you go. Excellent. Uh, is there another crab here? We can grab. Alright. We'll cook these, we'll eat it, and I do want to, before the video is over, make a raft and see how that works and see about getting to another island. I mean, generally... I would not be doing that so fast. I'd probably be trying to make as much as I can and be better prepared and level up. But I do want to check out what these other islands have in store. I just can't die on my way there. Cook all of this. We're going to eat all of this. Oh, I, I picked up the wrong one. Where'd it go? We, we gotta finish cooking this one. Oh, it stays with the amount cooked as well. That's excellent. And we're gonna eat all these. Alright, what do we need for our raft? We're just gonna go with the basic raft base with the wood. We need three logs. Uh, let's place this out here. There. And maybe we do... Do we do three? Three across seems pretty good. We should have a bunch of logs already. We've been chopping down trees like crazy. How many can I carry? I can carry two. Uh, 
Uh, oh no, it's a palm frond. There we go. Logs over here. Hopefully we don't get attacked by sharks. There's something in the water over there. All right, let's chop down some more trees. At least the the lizard stays over there on that side. I guess that's its cave. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. Too much running. And one more. Oh, pick up this coconut. All right, excellent. Don't float away. Uh, but now we need a rudder, steering device for direction control. Excellent. And a sail. Where do we put this? Oh, over here. Excellent. All right, we need some cloth. We have cloth. Large sticks. Oh man, large sticks. This, <laughs> what we can't find. We got small sticks. At least it is daytime and I can see. Oh, here's a branch. That gives me three large sticks. Oh, no, two? Oh, I guess one of them was a small stick. We need five more. Any more branches on the ground we can break up? Is this a branch here? Looks like it. Yes. Uh, one large stick, two large sticks. Maybe I walk around a little more. Oh, another branch. Drop these. Level five in melee. All right, one more large stick and our beautiful vessel will be ready to set sail. There we go, small tree. What is this? Oh, kava kava plant. We need a different item to be able to harvest that, it looks like. All right, excellent. And let's take a quick look in here at our tools. Is it the stone axe? Was that the right shape? Kava kava plant. Oh, yeah. We get kava kava. What do I use this for? Earthy anxiety relieving root. Oh, okay. Eat it. What do I. What does that increase? It'd be nice if we had little plus signs down here when it was increasing something. I don't know what increased. I mean, our hunger increased, but I don't know if anything else increased. We're getting our vegetables in. Let's, uh, we got a coconut on us. Are we ready to set sail? I mean, not really. Let's get a banana. For the trip over. A couple bananas. I mean, our protein isn't doing so well. Let's, uh, make some rope in case we need to... Make another axe. 
and maybe cook another, cook one more of these guys. Is our fire still going? It is not. All right, there we go. Let us cook this. And this. Can I stack some of these things? Like, I got stone shards here. This doesn't sit with that. Oh, it does. Excellent. All right, cooked. And cooked. And cooked. Oh, but we're tired now and need to sleep? Oh, no. Oh, our energy is going down. Okay, hold on. Before we set sail, let's get uh, maybe four hours of sleep. All right. Sun is going down. Oh, the sun is going down. Let's sleep until tomorrow. I don't want to arrive at a a strange island when it's super dark. We're thirsty, we need some water, low on protein, eat meat, it's always something. <laughs> it's always something. Alright, sun is coming up. 100% uh, fresh, excellent. Drink? Can we not drink? Hold. There we go. And we're just going to find... Oh, can I get the bird? We're going to find some crabs, maybe. Okay, it's still two hits with a knife. What are you? Oh, jeez. A hornet. Thought you were a crab. It's a rock. Wait, what is that? Is that a, a turtle? It's a turtle. Yes. It's perfect. All right, grab some meat. Uh, I'm just gonna set this shell right there. We're gonna cook this up and we're gonna head out. Early morning adventure. Oh, how's this water doing? Probably pretty bad. Stagnant, yes. Oh, no, don't drop it. Uh, place it. Alright, start our fire. Only 30 minutes. Add some sticks. There we go. And, oh, the crab, the crab arms... I feel like they should not be going that bad that soon. That is way too fast. I was just over there. Okay, these are good. Oh, maybe that was a crab arm from before. Oh, this one's rotten. Nope, this one's not. This one is. Hornet, crab arm. There we go. Gonna cook this meat. Oh, rotten meat. I've been neglecting all of this. I would not eat this.
All right, low on protein, try eating meat. I, I'm, I'm about to do that. I'll eat a hornet, sure. Uh, cooked crab body, crab arm. And I don't know how long, there's no timer. I wish there was a timer that would tell me how long this stayed good for. We'll eat the bananas as well. All right, look at that. Meter's looking good. Let's get in our raft and... Hey, there we go. Oh, wait. Uh, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Escape. I had to raise this. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. All right. Where, where are these sharks, though? They're not going to attack my raft, I hope. Oh, it's raining. Oh, wait. It's raining. Turn back around. Our water collector. My thirst. Uh, get out of here. And we're going to lower the sail when we get close. Maybe right there. Oh, it stops like immediately. All right. Uh, drink some water. How'd that do for us? Yeah, it did pretty decently. It's gathering a lot of water. All right. Now let's head back out. Oh, gosh, no. Get up, get up. How do I get up here? How do I get up here? Uh, what does that say? Raft, hold E. <laughs> All right. Uh, can we turn this in advance? No. We have to raise, grab this, don't beach ourselves. All right, we're off to what I believe is the closest island. And of course, this is a horrible idea. We have no supplies on us whatsoever. I mean, we have no food, we have no water. But I do want to see if there's anything interesting in these other islands. Oh, there's our plane over there, slightly to the right. I wonder if I put more sails on here, if I'd go faster. Like if I did one to the left and one to the right. If I did that, I might actually be able to see <laughs> what's in front of me. Can I still crouch? I can't crouch. And I can only look a limited way left and right. All right, so far, no sharks. They were hanging out over by my plane crash. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if we just we fix up that plane or if we're making a new plane. I'm guessing we would want need to put like some pontoons on it. I'm surprised it hasn't sank. All right, hopefully, you know, we're safe over here. This could be <laughs> like the lizard's main colony and we'd be walking into a whole world of hurt. Over there. Are there, is there something? It looks like just to the left there of my sail, some kind of structure that doesn't look natural. Okay, I don't see any lizards. I think we're okay. Of course, there could be something else here. Yeah, there's some kind of small inlet or bay here. Can I sail into it? There's actually a lot of rocks here. It's probably a bad idea. 
Let's actually just park our raft. Oh. It just stopped. Oh, we can't get by this? Oh gosh, my raft is now stuck. Turn this way. Oh no, maybe I can like push it? Can I push my raft? Oh, I can. There we go, get free. Oh no, wait, don't sail away. <laughs> I forgot, my sail's still up. All right. And you know what, kind of point it that way. There we go. Oh yeah, look at this. It's like a flag up top. What is that? Uh, is there anything in this water? I'm a little worried. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Wait, whoa. What happened to my my vision? That was strange. Uh, oh, there is something strange. That's not how it normally is, is it? Wait. That's not how it was when I was swimming to shore. I go over here. Oh, it's like over here, too. Maybe that's just how it normally is. We got some shells in here. Let's get up here and see if we can take a look at that structure. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to get up top? Let's take a quick, uh, maybe a little reconnaissance around the island here. You have reached level 4 in stamina. Man, I'm gonna run into some... some tribe that's gonna hunt me down. I have to run back to my raft. Or some aggressive warthog or something. There's apparently also submarine wrecks. Oh. There's something over there. Another flag? On that rock? Ooh, another note in a bottle. Oh. Oh, things did not go well here? What is this? Oh yeah, there's... What is going on here? Oh gosh, there's a shark in there. Holy cow. Alright, I'm not swimming in that water. Uh, where'd it go? I don't see its fins anymore. There was definitely... Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh gosh! <laughs> All right, that was that's one sneaky shark. Uh, let's take a look at what this says. Found another bottled note. Uh, missing cargo. Escape. Oh, that's the tape recording. Is this? Oh, this one's different. Oh, I see. There's the missing cargo ship. This one's a traveler's note. I set out on a solo voyage across the Pacific Ocean, fulfilling a lifelong lifelong dream after retiring at the age of 55. Sailing had always been my passion. It's something I looked forward to for years. I thought I was prepared for anything the ocean could throw at me. I was wrong. Everything started well enough, but then my GPS stopped working. I became disoriented and lost, drifting aimlessly for days. The sea, once my sanctuary, has become my prison. I try to navigate by the stars, but an endless expanse of water is unforgiving, and my bearings are... are something. My bearings are lost. I've landed on a small, uncharted island. At first, I thought it was a blessing, a place to rest and regroup, but this island is anything but safe. There's an eerie stillness here, broken only by strange sounds at night. The sense of being watched is constant, and it chills me to the bone. I don't want to die here. The regret is overwhelming. I left behind a comfortable life, my family and friends, chasing a dream that has turned into a nightmare. Every day I hope for a passing ship or a plane or some sign that I haven't been forgotten. If you find this letter, please know that I fought to survive. Tell my family that I love them and that I'm sorry for the pain my absence will cause. 
this was supposed to be my grand adventure. My crowning achievement. Instead, it has become my greatest folly. Please send help. I don't have much time left, and I don't want to become another lost soul on this forsaken island. With the deepest regrets, Martin Blake. Oh, no. I wonder if that's Martin Blake right over there. All right. Uh, oh, no. It's another spider. Get out of here. Get my, you know what? Get my knife out. There's another turtle over there. It looks like a turtle. Yeah, we got a flag over here. I wonder if that means something. Can I climb these rocks? There's no sharks hiding in the shallows here. Can I climb this? Doesn't seem like it. I'm, I'm really worried about the water here. That shark was in super shallow water. Alright, that is a turtle. Anything else as we head around here? Probably just another island for resources, it seems. Yeah, we're back around here. But I am interested... Oh. Yeah, just some ruins over here. I am interested in getting to the island that had some sort of tower on it. Oh, gosh. I gotta get over this. Just jump on the rocks. I don't know where that, where that shark is. But there was... Is it that one? No. I don't remember where it was. Maybe it was on the other side of our island that we landed on. That had a tower on it. But we're at over an hour, so that's going to do it for this video. Once again, this has been Project Castaway, and it just released today, September 23rd. And if you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.